What is going on my friends? I am Pixel Dan and today I am setting up at QuadCon in St. Charles, Missouri. I'm really excited about this. So I've done a few QuadCon shows already. Uh, a couple of them both in Springfield, Illinois, which is where I'm from. But the one here in St. Charles, Missouri, I'm told is supposed to be one of the biggest shows that they put on a year. And this place is massive. I mean, right now it's just set up so there's not a lot of people in here. I'm getting my table already. I got my banners here. Got a couple copies of the book. Um, here with my brother and my wife and my kids. It's gonna be a good day announcements are being made so we're gonna get things all set up and then I'm gonna take you guys on a toy hunt let's do this so my brother my brother's here again there's my brother and I wanted to show you guys this look look these are all his childhood Power Rangers figures you're selling your childhood toys dude oh he's talking to customers let's look at his childhood Power Rangers figures so Look, he's got, this is his actual original Ninjor. This is his Dragon Zord. These are the ones he actually played with. So while in my childhood, I was growing up with Masters of the Universe and then Ninja Turtles, my brother kind of started with Ninja Turtles and then Power Rangers was like his big thing. So like, you know, I was the big He-Man and Turtles kid. He was the big Power Rangers kid. And uh, so these are all the ones. Here's a Saba. Here's a Falcon Zord. I always loved this guy. I used to take a lot of these and play with them. <laughs> I used to, I, I, here's his original head flippers. Look, he's got his morpher here. It's kind of cool to see all of these. I haven't seen these since we were kids. And now he's selling them. Yo, you're selling your childhood Power Rangers? I am. What's that all about, man? Somebody needs them. Somebody else needs them? Somebody else needs them. You're just, you I've don't I've had need... my time with them, somebody else needs them. Now. That's a good way to look at it, man. That's no. a good way to look at it. Okay, so hey, it's been pretty busy over here at my table and I haven't been able to step away all day. I feel like I say that in every one of these videos now. Even though I've got a table set up, it's uh, pretty hard <laughs> to get out there and actually do some toy hunting, but I am ready to do it. It's actually towards the end of the day, slowing down in here, so I probably missed all the deals, but I don't care. I just want to see what's out there. I got my I got my little toy hunting buddy with me today. What's up, Spencer? Hi. You excited? He's been begging me to go toy hunting all day. I feel so bad. He's been so patient sitting here with me. So let's do it. Let's get out there and see what we can find. Oh, you found uh, Uncle DJ's Power Rangers. Did you know that these are all the ones he played with when he was a kid? Isn't that crazy? No. I... Yeah, you didn't know that? No. That means these are super old. These are way older than you, man. I just want to show you guys, like, look at how big this place is. Like, this goes all the way down there. And you can see it's towards the end of the day. We're within the last hour of the show here. So there's a lot less people walking around at the moment. It was very busy earlier today. Lots of movement over at the table. Um, so this goes way down there. It's like an indoor sports place. And it's just filled with vendor tables. So we're going to maneuver our way through and see what we can find right now. Oh, I've always got to stop to look at this stuff, even though I have it all. <laughs> Do I have all this already, Spencer? Yes. yes. <laughs> There's a nice Battle Cat and Panthor here, though, up front. Rotan. Castle Grey Skull. Hey, there's a lot of the paper inserts with this Castle Grey Skull here. Look at that. That's the kind of stuff that's always missing from these, so that's really nice to see. Point Dread and Talent Fighter, too. Nice. I love, okay, so it's funny seeing stuff like this. Do you see the little tag up there on top? Let me zoom in on this. Half Circle Boba Fett. Let me tell you guys, back in the 90s there, in 95, 96, like that was even before we were all really on the internet and doing videos and stuff all the time, but everybody knew that Half Circle Boba Fett was the one to find. And that's referencing the circles on the outsides of his hands. There's some with full circles, there's some with half-painted circles. And that was one everybody wanted back then. 
I don't know if that's worth anything now, but I don't know. That brings up some serious toy hunting memories right there. Oh, yes. You saw something? Oh, what are you going to look at? Oh, Dino World. Okay, let's see what Dino World is. What are these? Oh. They are Lego, they're like Lego variant. Snap. Uh, build them and then they're mobile. Oh, okay, cool. So the arms, legs, and the mouths open and stuff. It's nice. Kind of they're $3 bucks each. $3 each, dude. What do you think? Cool. Look, there's the See dogs? the difference? Yeah, and, and this the says. There's eight different ones, so if you buy all eight, it's 25. All right, we're gonna grab these two. two three, six, nine, nine. Spencer, Spencer is finding things he wants. Here, let me give you, uh, you want a bag? Yeah. Count those dollars. Uh, 15. 15. You got your six? Uh, all right, pay the man. Thanks, and sir. say thank you. High five, bro. Perfect. Boom. Hey, thank you so thank much. You. Ooh, so there's a bunch of 90s Toy Biz stuff over here. Ooh, Ben Riley Spider-Man. Love the Ben Riley suit. So we got some of the classics I love. Of course, the Marvel superhero stuff is always awesome. Oh, yeah. There's Claw and Captain America. Ooh, Stealth Venom. Look at Stealth Venom. He's stealth? Yeah, apparently he's stealth. See, look, it's kind of clear. Yeah, but he doesn't look stealth. He doesn't look stealth? Oh, good point. <laughs> Oh, I think this is one of the newer reissues. Yeah. That must be one of the newer ones. Look, he has big hands. Oh, big hand attachments. That's awesome. How about Santa around the world trading cards? Really? <laughs> really? <laughs> we gotta show the advanced Dungeons and Dragons figures over here. We got Evil Nightmare over here. Is it Good Destrier? Is it, how do you say that? Destrier? Destrier? Destrier. Destrier. Good Destrier and Strongheart. Who came up with the light on? Yeah. <laughs> These are you very know, cool though. The boxes better, but it's on you. Yeah, I was going to say mint figures inside. Those are beautiful. I love the artwork. Hey, here's something pretty awesome to see. Toonsylvania Igor. Check it out, Spence. That's pretty awesome to see that right after I just did that video about the Toonsylvania stuff. And now, now we're just running into more of it out at toy shows. I love it. Oh, hey, here's a bunch of Bionic 6 figures. I always forget how heavy these are until I see them in person. Because these are all like die-cast metal. There's a whole bunch of them in here. And these are really cool. I never owned any of these. I've never had any of the Bionic 6 stuff. But I know I get asked about it all the time. People are always asking if I ever had any or if I ever see any out and about, and here's some are. Pretty cool. There's a dark face grizzler in here. It's like 125 is the price on that. Oh, also, look at that. Megatron. It's the original version. We got some Rock Lords action in there. What else we got? Oh hey! That's me. From Commando. <laughs> Cats! So we got Classics, Panthor, and Battle Cat. Ooh, 300 on Panthor, 200 on Battle Cat. These have definitely gone way up. Here's a pretty nice vintage Battle Cat. There, no, no helmets. He's 40. Forty dollars, very cool. And then there's some Classics figures here, including my boy. Yeah. Did you find Pokemon? Yes. Yes. <laughs> He's like, Daddy, something caught my eye. And then he brought me over to this table full of Pokemon plush. Uh, Charmander's missing something. What's Charmander missing? Dun. Oh, he's right there. Fire tail. Uh -huh. Here's another one. Oh, the yellow. That one's just red. This is my first time seeing this one in person. This is a recent release from Playmates where they repainted those classics figures as like the black and white turtles. I don't know, I'm not really, not really digging this one, to be honest. I can't believe they just keep reusing these molds. Love these classic Mattel games. Check it out, this one's in a box. Ski Slalom, I never had this one. I had football and baseball that were my dad's, but I used to play them all the time when I was a kid. And he's got the uh, basketball back here too. I love these things. 
They're so basic, but they're so cool. Ooh. Oh, look, more Mattel electronics over here. Oh, here's a Coleco one, and then even better, some of the Tiger ones up here. And I totally had this bowling one when I was a kid. Totally had this. I also got Tom and Jerry the movie. And Castle Grayskull. Oh, this is the space crawler from Major Matt Mason. Old Mattel toy line, old space, Mattel space toy line. I love Major Matt Mason. That is pretty cool. There's the old Mattel logo right there on the top. There's a focus, come on, focus, there we go. It's super old. This is a really old toy, Spencer, but it is very cool. It smells like Stinkor. It smells like Stinkor? Where do you still, Stinkor's not even over here anywhere. <laughs> this smells like Stinkor? You are crazy. <laughs> uh, what? Pac-Man Christmas album. This might be just, it's on the final. This might be so, just enough ridiculous that I might grab it. I have this, I have this at home. Chilling, thrilling sounds of the haunted house. Story of Star Wars. Oh, there's Pac-Man Fever on vinyl. Oh, dang. Oh, dang. It feels empty. Oh, no, it's there. Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. What else we got down here? Di our dinosaur friends. Ooh, does that sound awesome? And the monkeys. Well then, I guess I'm coming to a, a toy show to buy some vintage vinyl, because I'm a sucker for this sort of thing. I haven't seen these lady death figures in a long time. There was a time where I swear I saw these at like every convention I went to. Once upon a time, like late 2000, like early 2010s. These things were everywhere. So it's been a while since I've seen these actually. Oh, here's some fun carded stuff. Oh yeah, Trend Masters Mars Attacks. Battlestar Galactica. Oh yeah, and Independence Day. And Snakeweed. <laughs> some Black Star. Power Rangers, Power Rangers, Kenner Aliens. All kinds of fun baggy stuff up here. Oh man, I haven't seen these in so long. I had some of these back in the 90s when they came out because I loved Micro Machines. I loved it when they did the Star Wars themed ones. These X-Ray ones were always so cool. Just so you can they were clear so that you can like see the inside workings of the ships. They are super fun. This one's a great one, the sand crawler and the falcon. Those are just really neat. I also loved these playsets. I had both of these when I was younger. So these were like the little smaller playsets. This was like the half Death Star. You could take the top off and it had all these little mini figs that would go inside. Just like this. Really, really fun. But then they had the larger ones here that were almost more in like the style of like Mighty Max because they were like these big heads. Like this one opened up with the cantina inside. Ah, oh, these are really cool, actually. These are very cool. So I found a whole bunch of baggied Ninja Turtles hanging up here. There's actually some that are really kind of standing out to me. I love these old little mech suit ones. This one doesn't have the figure inside, it looks like. It looks like it's missing the little minifigure. It also has two price tags on it. One says seven, one says 12. I think I am gonna ask about it, because then there's also the, there's a Donatello one hanging here, and it does have the minifig, but there's no price tag. So I'm gonna check on these, see what else we can find up in here. Okay, so these are really awesome. There's like these framed pictures of the various Masters box arts. I just think these are so neat looking. Um, obviously these aren't official. These definitely look custom made, but they're super fun. So we got the Fright Zone over here, and then down here we've got that amazing He-Man on Battle Cat picture, and Snake Mountain. Those are just really cool. So this is something, this has gotta be custom, right? I've not seen this before. 
E yep, Eternia Dreams exclusive custom. I love it. A little Snake Mountain vinyl. Hey, Daddy. All right, so there's a bunch of real Ghostbusters up here in a baggie, which I always love to see. But up here, we got a bunch of Pee Wee figures from Matchbox, which is very cool. Oh, look, there's Fearsome Flush from Ghostbusters. What's this right here? Oh, I think these are just pieces from the playset, maybe? Magic screen, and then I got excited because I found a conky up here um, because I, I don't have an, a, a loose conky at home. I've got like basically everything else from the series. I've got a boxed playset that I still need to open. It's definitely something that I want to do a toy explosion on at some point. Um, so I'm gonna grab conky while I'm over here just to, uh, just to get one for the loose set at home. I want carnage. Okay. Looking at these guys. Let me see them. Okay. Okay, so this caught my eye when we were walking past. It's an old Parker Brothers game. Snardvark? Can you outrun his tongue? I love the artwork on the box. Look at this thing. You know what? I kind of remember this now. So it looks like the tongue is like the game board and it's probably sucking up his tongue as time goes on and you gotta try to be the last one not eaten by the Snardvark. I love it, I love it! Oh, that is so cool. I love these old board games. And that artwork is really rad. Fairly unique. This cardboard here is the hard part that you never usually find, but... What? <laughs> Oh my gosh! Oh, that is amazing! It's like a little whiskey set. I love it. The glasses and the decanter. And a Volkswagen Beetle. Yes. That's amazing. To top it off. <laughs> More micro machines. I always love just running into the micro machines. It's not something I currently collect, but I loved them so much when I was young. This city scenes thing is pretty cool. Look, really lights up. All the buildings is light up at night. Such a cool toy line. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. So you did it. You sold all your childhood Power Rangers, I man. I did. I did. Well, how do you feel now? They're gone. Other people are gonna enjoy play with your... them. Oh. They're going to enjoy them. Fair. That's fair. That's good. You feel good about it? I do. That's good. That's good, man. That's awesome. That's awesome. And everything's packing up now. You cleared out a ton of stuff. Feel good about the show? Yeah. yeah. I wish I could have gotten rid of more, but. Yeah, I feel yeah. We always feel that way. Look, I, I had a, a plan. Like, if we got to the end of the day and all this Power Rangers still still sitting there, I was gonna rescue one of them and bring it home and just put it on my shelf, just because like this is my brother's Power Ranger from his childhood. But they're all gone. So they've gone on to be enjoyed with somebody else's collection. Yep. So that's good, man. Awesome. Well, I'm glad you feel good about it. Yeah. Cool. So I got to show off these amazing gifts people brought for me today. First of all, this amazing action figure photography. Like, how great is that? Like, the, yeah, those are action figures. Uh, I specifically love the Spider-Man reflection in Mysterio's helmet. He told me he did that by putting another Spider-Man head like inside the helmet to make it look like a reflection. It's really, really amazing. And then, I love this. Look at this. Look at this. You guys get the reference there? Mosquito in the amber on the cane. Come on. It is absolutely amazing. So I uh, want to give us, oh, Jeremy and family. That's right. So shout out for the amazing gifts I was given today. Hey, all right. So that is going to wrap up QuadCon here in St. Charles, Missouri. As you can see behind me, this place is empty and out. We're right at the end of the day. Uh, I know I didn't get a chance to really get out there and do a lot of hunting like in the beginning, so I probably missed a lot of the cool stuff. But I did still see a few things. I didn't buy a lot of things. I got those records. I got those Ninja Turtles that we found. I got Conky. That's it. You know, just a few little things. Didn't really spend very much money, but uh, I had an amazing experience here. You know, I, I sold a few books. I signed a bunch of books. I had a great little Q&A panel here. Um, so it was a lot of fun, and I just love being able to come out and do stuff like this again. So 
I hope you guys enjoyed joining me on this journey. It's for sure not the last toy hunt. I've got several more places I'm gonna be hitting up before the end of this year, and I'll definitely be bringing you guys along for the ride. So until the next toy hunt, take easy, my friends.